An old NASA satellite is out of control and plunging back towards Earth. But U.S. scientists are only left guessing where it'll land with an almighty bump, which could be anywhere on the planet. Artie's Peter Oliver turned to the advice of Russian cosmonauts to ponder whether we should be watching over our heads. It weighs almost 6,000 kilograms, has been monitoring the makeup of our atmosphere for nearly two decades, and the best estimates suggest that on Friday it's set to return home with a bump. NASA's Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite, or UARS, was decommissioned in 2005 and is now headed for re-entry. Most of the satellite, which is the size of a bus, will burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. However, as many as 26 chunks of the stricken research vehicle will strike the Earth. 70% of our planet is covered with water, so the danger to us is fairly limited. NASA, though, have announced a potential strike zone covering most of the globe. So where it will come down is really anyone's guess. What is known is that it won't fall in one place. Debris is expected to be spread over 800 kilometers. All fairly worrying stuff, but how much of this space junk is there up there ready to come back down? There are now over 20,000 sizable objects being tracked in Earth's orbit. The problem is that due to a process called the Kessler effect, that number is growing exponentially. Each collision shatters an object into smaller pieces, and those pieces hit other objects. If it keeps continuing at the same rate, 200 years from now, we won't be able to get anything into an Earth orbit, as there just won't be any room. Looking up at the sky from Earth, it can be hard to imagine the problems posed by space debris. But when we look through powerful telescopes like this one, the true situation comes into focus. The job of monitoring all of the debris in space is an important one, not just for the future, but for those currently in space on board the International Space Station. Over 600 times a year, the ISS has to take evasive action to get out of the way of debris. But if that isn't possible, there's only one course of action left. The crew takes shelter in the most protected area of the ship. The safest place is the capsule in the Soyuz module. So that's where the entire crew hides when the station is considered to be in danger. With no viable way of giving space a spring clean, we have to rely on the atmosphere to burn up most falling debris. However, in large cases like that of the UARS, the experts get a little concerned. When a used rocket enters the atmosphere, people can calculate when and where it's going to fall. But it's impossible to predict where the pieces of a satellite that has broken apart are going to end up.